Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add the face tracker effect in Premiere Pro. With this tracker effect in Premiere Pro, you can easily track faces in your footages and apply effects that follow the motion of the face. This can be great for emphasizing a subject in the shot or adding some fun effects to people's faces. So, let's get started. The first step is to import your footage. I have this dancing video for guy. I'm going to play it for you. You see, it's a simple, just stable video. So we are going to track his face and follow his movement and make a motion tracking effect. So I'm going to grab this video and place it on my timeline. And now I'm going to keep on selecting the video. And now from this, go to effects, air, size for transform. Just drag and drop this transform effect on top of your video clip. Go to the effects control. You need to zoom in so you can have some of the space around the area. So I'm going to scale it up and adjust the position for my starting point. I'm going to zoom in a little more. You need to make sure the face of the person is clearly visible. And now, and now the next step is to add the guides. This will help you track the motion of your face. So just drag it down here, the show guides, and add the ruler as well. So I'll click OK, and now I'll click on this ruler. Now I'll drag and drop one of the line here, and same from the left side. You see the face in the center. Now I'll just select our clip here, scroll down, and select the transform effect. Now you need to add a keyframe at the start of the video. Here, select the position. Now, and now for the keyboard, just hit the right arrow key. And here, well, let me just zoom in a little bit. The person is good. Now let's start the tracking effect. The more frame you add, the more better result will it be. So, let's start doing it. You can use these sliders to adjust the position, just like I'm doing right now. Just press the right key and position yourself. Just do this all of the video.
I've edited like 10 seconds, so I'm just going to that goes the other part. So now let's play the video. I'm going to select this other fit. Now let's see. It's great, isn't it? So you can see I've added all of these frames. You can add multiple frames or you can add the frame just by holding the shift key and the right arrow key. So you can add frames just like that. The more frame you add, the more smoother the results will be. You can remove these guides just by clicking on them. You can also add some of the motion blur effect. Just untick the use composition and add the shutter angle to about 100. This will add some of the motion blur effect to your video as well. And there you have it. A quick and easy way to use the face tracker in Fridge Pro. Remember to try out some other things as well. If you have any questions regarding this, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, make sure to leave thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.